one family under God. This grand vision, advocated by Reverend Sun Myung Moon and Dr. Hak Ja Han Moon, sheds a light of hope for a new borderless world of peace. Now this dream is becoming a reality in different parts of the world. This dream shall blossom once more in the Americas, a land blessed and prepared by God. In just 200 years, with heaven's blessings, the United States has become the world's most powerful nation. Two thousand years ago, Jesus' teachings spread to the world through Rome. In the same way, the teachings of Reverend and Mrs. Sun Myung Moon have touched the hearts of the American people, thus spreading heaven's providence to the world. They met with leaders in the United States to remind them of America's mission. Through the Washington Times, they supported the Reagan administration's strategic defense initiative and contributed to bringing an end to the Cold War. From the start, the Washington Times were not shy about challenging the more established media outlets. And I'll never forget how during the 1980s, uh, President Reagan and I were lampooned regularly uh, as ideologues steering the country towards a nuclear holocaust. But then a funny thing happened. Freedom prevailed in the Cold War, uh, without a shot being fired, I might add. After the Cold War, their focus expanded from overcoming communism and shifted to promoting pure love and true family values. They established the Family Federation for World Peace and Unification and invited world leaders to join their efforts in promoting true families. Blessed families are now taking part in this endeavor of creating a beautiful world by overcoming the walls between nations, race, religion, and culture. Together with Reverend Sun Myung Moon, Dr. Hak Cha Han Moon dedicated her entire life for the liberation of God, the salvation of humanity, and the realization of a peaceful world. Their campaign for realizing a peaceful world through true families centered on true love is now being promoted through hundreds of global peace networks that they established throughout the world covering various fields. The culture and arts will blossom in a new era of peace and love. Since the 1960s, the founders have been offering their full support in creating a world based on the culture of heart. In addition, the numerous ambassadors of peace, which have been appointed by the Universal Peace Federation and members of the Peace Corps and Peace Police, have also been quite active in UPF's endeavors in bringing harmony between religions, promoting peace, and protecting peace. I personally believe that uh, Reverend Moon uh, can be declared a holy person. It's Jesus himself who had told him, go and unite religions. And that is the mission that he has had. Furthermore, they called for the reformation of the United Nations and proposed the installation of a bicameral system within the UN so that it can truly become a world government. The founders encouraged companies to bring their technology and skills to countries with poor technology for the well-being of humankind.
The educational institutions established under the Founders' philosophy of loving heaven, loving one's nation, and loving humankind are becoming the cradle for talented people worldwide. One Mo Pyongye Scholarship Foundation is providing scholarships to talented people and taking the lead in actual sharing and volunteering work. In order to enhance the peace ideology, we will create a peace prize of a global scale, the Sonhak Peace Prize in 2015. Straddled by the Andes, South America is blessed with vast jungles and huge rivers. During the late 1990s, UPF's founders explored the Amazon River in Brazil and established the South American Providence headquarters in Jardim. There, they began a project to create a new world by connecting their Global Peace Foundation to South America. Their focus was on integrating the maritime industry into South America. The ocean has a wealth of food resources and potential for the hobby industry in the 21st century. This dream is becoming a reality in a small town in Leda, located in the Pantanal in the Paraguay River Basin. In May 2013, the project was successful in raising Baku. Since then, the president of Paraguay and other government officials have visited this site and acknowledged the efforts invested in this project. This is but one of many projects initiated by the founders to create a foundation for bringing together the two Americas. Many world leaders have joined the peace initiatives. The founders present the path and method for liberating God and saving humankind. Many have come to share the founders' vision and passion and have been touched by their acts of love. On July 17, 2012, Reverend Sun Myung Moon, who had dedicated himself to God and humanity, ascended at the age of 92. After Reverend Moon passed away with the condolences of people worldwide, Dr. Hakja Han Moon has been spiritually communicating with him, and because she has been commanding peace initiatives worldwide, she experiences sleepless nights. The compilation of Reverend Sun Myung Moon's peace messages the reunification of the Koreas and peace in Northeast Asia campaign, resolving environmental problems and establishing a domestic and international peace foundation. Blessed families and ambassadors for peace worldwide are taking powerful strides with the founders toward realizing a peaceful world. Reverend Moon still had to go through unjust imprisonment and face persecution. Despite these challenges, he continued to live for the sake of others, forgetting and giving again with true love. His efforts have become beams of hope, and the path he followed has become a model path of peace for humanity. It is a time for all nations and religions to break down their barriers through this. The era of one family under God will arrive and last forever. The flower of love and peace shall fully bloom in the original Garden of Eden. The millennial crane is now spreading its wings to take flight into the blue sky. Reverend Sun Myung Moon and Dr. Hak Ja Han Moon have blazed a trail of loving one's enemy, overcoming any obstacle and recovering the ideal of creation. Realizing a world of peace through ideal families. The righteous leaders of the world shall take on this great challenge of creating a new world.